Hey co friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, we got a package from Bounce Curl. Let's open it again, shall we? Do, 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 do. Are you ready to bounce? Do, 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 do. Why I'm excited is because inside this, they gave us a bunch of their new brushes and combs. But the one I want to try today is the one that went viral. This is the Define Styling Brush, and I'm gonna show you how cool it is in a second. But there's also a Flexible Detangle Brush, which I meant to use today in the shower, but Bounce Curls Conditioner is so good, I didn't need a brush. <laughs> you know I always finger detangle unless I need to get a brush. This is their Smoothing Brush, that'll be good for like slick down styles. This is their Styling Comb, which has a little, you know, pick on the end for parting styles and a small little volume comb, which will be used like as a pick. But let's talk about the star of the show. Let's take it out of the packaging. This brush is so intuitive, and I just love that it's finally giving Denman brush a run for its money. This brush was literally made with curls in mind because it has these little ridges on the side because you know when we brush and then we go like this and we like clump things, now our hair can go through the sides. The sides have a purpose, unlike the Denman brush. So I'm gonna style my hair today and we're gonna give it a try for the first time. So this brush, is says right here, it's made to enhance your waves, curls, and coils. This innovative three-in-one brush effortlessly smooths and to find your hair while preventing frizz. They also didn't just put like a regular handle on here, they put a point, so now you also can make sections. For all my section people, this is for you. Genius. Now I already washed my hair this morning using the Bounce Curl Gentle Clarifying Shampoo. This did a great job. I forgot that a little goes a long way. I always use too much of this. And I used the Super Smooth Cream Conditioner. My hair glided through, the tangles were no problem. But now let's style using, I usually just use the cream gel on its own because since I'm getting the cream, I'm getting the moisture as well. But let me add a little bit of the Moisture Balance Leave-In Conditioner Treatment and Primer to the curls. Not a, like, am I gonna actually use a dime size today? That'd be strange. A little bit of this, especially to the ends. Get the curls ready for styling. Okay, a little more. And I'm gonna have to section today, guys. This is gonna get me out of my comfort zone again. Cause I don't section and I don't really use a brush. Especially to style since my curls are very defined already. But let's see what, but let's see how much more definition I get from this. I'll clip this up in my Bianca clip. Grabbing the Bounce Curl Light Hold Cream Gel. All Bounce Curl products are sulfate paraben silicone free. The owner of the company has curly hair herself. She is like an actual chemist. She went to school for this. So I just really trust her when it comes to ingredients and creating things that are actually made for curly hair. Like this brush, was absolutely made by somebody that styles their curly hair every day. Like you could just tell from every little detail about this. So let's give it a go. Let's see if I do this right. Maybe even smaller, dare I say smaller. All right, product is in. Taking my brush, going from the root and curling it and pulling it over. Oh, snaps. And then we're just gonna kind of scrunch it up. Oh. Let's see what this does. Section by section. All right, that's a nice piece. Let's do this again. Smoothing in the gel. I'm gonna brush it through once. And then I'm gonna go over it again. See how the curls fit in between? Oh yeah. 
Denman who? Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be the brush. This is the brush to look out for y'all. This is gonna make my hair look even shorter because the curls are going to be popping. So just warning you, I wouldn't call this an elongation brush because your curls are going to be extra popping. Now before you guys ask, the number one comment I've even seen on her videos is like, what about type four hair? Like, will this work for type four hair? And then she made videos using the brush on type four hair and it still worked. It worked very well actually. It gave people really defined curls. So, so I think she said she's gonna make different versions of these that might have like smaller parts here or larger parts depending on how large you want the clumps of your hair. But overall, it's just genius. Cause you know we did this with the Denman brush, but it was just flat, but now it's sectioning everybody. Oh, I like it. side that looks defined af all right the ringlets are ringing my hair's gonna look so short but so defined can i am i even allowed to rake it through for some volume it's gonna be so shirley temple but so defined you know who's gonna love this brush Franchelli. She's in full mom mode right now, but I need her to try this. Okay, let me let this dry, and we'll come back and see how it looks. Look at these curls! It looks like I individually finger curled these. Like, look at this. They're beautiful! But I have realized something. By doing this, by finger coiling, the reason why I'm never like a huge fan of how my hair looks at the end is because it's almost, dare I say, too perfect. And that's because I shouldn't compare my hair to other people, which is step one. When I think of people like Frizz and Frills, Chloe, or Francelli from Chelly's Curls, or there's another girl I follow, but like they always have like the big, perfectly defined curls. They like their Denman brush, they like to finger coil, but they have very thick hair. So if I had a lot of hair and it was thick, I could have a million of these ringlets and it would still look big because I have a lot of hair. Because my hair is super fine, it makes my hair really flat and short because the curls are just like too perfect. In order for me to get my personal desired look, I actually need a little frizz. <laughs> so I need to now break this up so that it looks like I have more hair than I do. It's all part of the illusion. So now we know that if you need some more help with getting some definition, you use a brush to style your hair, you are a current fan of the Denman brush, it's like no question, you have to try this brush by Bounce Curl. It's just, it's made for us with curly hair. It's gonna be made for you. You're gonna love it. Now, I'm gonna put on some of the Bounce Curl oil, which I really honestly used more on my skin while I was pregnant than I have on my hair. But I am going to separate the curls we just made. <laughs> because I need, oh, this is a good one. This is gonna be hard to do, but I need more hair. So I'm gonna have to separate these. I need to shake this out. Try not to mess up my curls too much. See? 
looks better already. Let's make it bigger. This is the Bounce Curl Volume Comb. Let's try this guy. Ooh, I like this. It's basically a sideways pick. There we go. That's better. So that's personally how I would style my hair. I love that this brush gives me great definition but because my hair is so fine. I'm gonna have to grab for something like the Bounce Curl Volume Comb so that I can get some more volume on my fine hair. But the curls are definitely popping. Let me know what you guys think. Are you someone that finger detangles or do you like a good brush? Would you try the Bounce Curl brush? If you use a Denman brush or you use any brush to style, please, Trust me, you're gonna love this. This video is not sponsored, so I don't really have like a promo code or anything for you guys. I guess I can ask, but I'll make sure to put a link in the description box for you guys and let me know what you think if you've already tried it. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.